Oh, hey there, nerds. So I'm just going to say what I say often when it comes to these videos right now is that I hope you guys are staying safe during these troubling times, you know, maintaining your health not only for yourself but others. And I just wanted to say that I love you guys. But, uh, you know, let's not worry about that anymore. Let's actually take a look at these new heroes that are coming out. And also, I do have an update for this channel at the end. So if you're really interested in that. Hmm. But, uh, oh, no, I forgot. This is the 30th anniversary banner. Oh, God. What is going on? <laughs> I must get strong and study hard, so I can become a great king someday. Oh no! Oh no, I don't like where this is going. This is going to be a banner where everything is absolutely the cutest, but they're going to absolutely destroy us by the end of it. Like, they're going to be monsters, aren't they? Alright, so... <laughs> children versions of characters... Oh boy, here we go. Starting off with young Marth, who is a sword infantry unit. He has a rapier available as his weapon, which... Makes a lot of sense if you played Shadow Dragon or Mystery of the Emblem is a good reference there. And was previously available only to Fina as a preferential weapon. This is also his preferential weapon too, so... Cool. Good strong contender there for a weapon, as well as a new special skill for him, which is Hero's Blood, and that will boost damage by 30% of his speed, as well as grant plus 4 to every stat, not only to himself, but also allies, all allies, meaning every ally on the map, for one turn after combat. That will also take effect on allies even if his HP reaches zero, so... That's a pretty competent special skill. That's a really strong one and very similar to Legendary Marth's Fire Emblem skill, if I recall, his special skill. So, yeah, it continues the tradition of him not only buffing, but also doing some pretty significant damage, as well as Chill Defense 3 in his B skill, and a new Oath skill in Speed and Defense 03, which means plus 5 to those as long as he's adjacent to an ally. So, yeah, that's a pretty competent build right there. Just think of all the possibilities you can put in that A skill slot, and I'm sure this will go places. Terrifying places. For Altea! Oh, man. That was something else. I like how they used the rapier proc, too. It was really nice. <laughs> do you believe in love? I don't know. Do I? Hmm. Also, was that the entire line? Just do you believe in love? Is that after love or the ones blooming on the battlefield? Also, for someone who talks about love, by the way, the Sheeta flying sword unit, of course, that is anything but love for her weapon. That is a monster. This will grant plus three attack, but also is effective against sword, lance, axe, colorless bow, and armored foes, meaning that she will get bonus damage, the green damage that you'll see there, uh, on any of those, which is quite a lot of the roster that is currently in the game. Yay! That's not, <laughs> it's not scary at all, but also add to the fact that if foe initiates combat and happens to be any of those, or if unit is below 75% health, she can counterattack before foe's first attack. Good. Yeah, that, that, that weapon does not mean love. That weapon is a terrifying monstrosity that will scare everyone. Oh, Jesus Christ. And I'm they're using it on a Lance Cavalier here. That poor Lance Cavalier is getting destroyed today. All right, so distant counter in the A skill slot. Oof. Belief in love, which is a new B skill. If foe initiates combat or if foe's HP equals 100% at the start of combat, it will inflict attack and defense minus five on foe during combat. Add that included with her weapon, and things are just gonna go crazy. This is... this is scary. This is actually scary stuff. Holy crap. Joint tone attack. Just add a little bit more attack into the C skill slot for a buff. Not bad at all. This is probably the most monstrous unit I've seen added to the game lately. Terrifying. Absolutely scary. I don't want to hurt you! Cute as a button, but absolutely going to murder us. My name is Merrick. I am a student of magic. Wow, Yuri Lowenthal is getting a lot of work during this banner, isn't he? Not bad, though. He gets to play the young characters, both Merrick and Marth. All right, well, speaking of Merrick, Green Tome Infantry, just like his original form, and... Oh my god, trying to go through all of these weapons and these weapon skills are just gonna kill me. So, Winds of Change. Effective against flying units, 
will accelerate special trigger, and at the start of combat, if he happens to have a bonus on him, like a rally or a hone, or if his HP happens to be greater than or equal to 50%, it will grant attack and speed plus 5 to him, and neutralize effects that guarantee foes follow-up attacks, and effects that prevent units follow-up attacks during combat. So therefore, he has a null skill built into his weapon, as well as an additional attack and speed plus 5, as long as he happens to have a buff, or is above 50% health. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot to take in. But then you have to add to the fact that he also has Righteous Wind, which is his special skill. And that boosts damage by 30% of his speed, as well as restores 10 HP. Oh my god. Two unit and all allies after combat. I'm scared, guys. That's a really effective healing buff, at least. Uh, healing does not stack if triggered more than once per combat, so yeah, I can't do that. But also, will restore HP to allies even if Merrick dies. So, yay! That's, that's busted, considering the fact that he happens to have a special cooldown trigger effect on his weapon already. Yeah, this is gonna be a nightmare, built into the fact that he also has Swiss Sparrow 3, really? Wind Sweep 3, and Distant Guard 3. I mean, the B and C skills, okay, but, uh, yeah, this is gonna be a nightmare. A lot of these weapons and a lot of these specials definitely seem like they are going to scare the ever-loving crap out of me. Goodness gracious. With this power... I'm just... Oh god, this is gonna be the cutest, but it's also going to be the most broken, isn't it? We're stronger together! Oh god, it's so adorable! I Oh, God. So, we have the White Wing Sisters available as cuter forms of themselves, at least. As I just... God, it's just too adorable. They're gonna be absolutely broken, aren't they? It's... Oh, jeez. Alright, so, let's go with Paula, who is a Lance Unit Flyer this time. And, uh, well, we have White Down Spear, which grants plus three attack. If the number of flying foes on team is greater than or equal to three and <laughs> unit initiates combat, it will inflict attack and defense minus four on foe during combat and unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack. Now, adversely, or at least on the different approach here, the number of flying allies within two spaces are less than two or equal to two and unit initiates combat, unit attacks twice. So think a brave weapon in a sense. So... Therefore, it's a bit of a trade-off, depending on if you have more flying allies or less. It's still a good weapon, though, because it has all of these advantages, and it definitely works a lot better with other flying allies, and it's really just quite potent. Goodness gracious me. Okay. We also have Reposition, Mirror Impact, which, well, attack and res plus 10. Uh, well, attack plus 6, res plus 10, sorry. Uh, during combat. Okay, you know, we've had that before. Chill Attack and Speed, which is a new B skill, and an improved chill as well. So Attack and Speed minus 5 on foe <laughs> the enemy team with the highest Attack and Speed total through the next action. Oh, goodness gracious me. Now, I have to ask, since this is a duo character, are we going to get the duo skill as well? Or am I going to have to guess at what it does? Oh god, it's just too cute! Oh my god. Unit and adjacent flying allies can move one extra space. Unit can move one extra space even if adjacent, to a <laughs> adjacent allies is not a flying unit. Uh, that turn only does not stack. At the start of odd number turns, if duo skill has already been used, unit can use duo skill again. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? Oh. Be careful. That's... That's a bit much, guys. Here we go. I'm with you. Ah, uh, I, I don't think it's safe to be carrying an infant into battle, guys. I'm sorry. You probably shouldn't be doing Understood. that. But yay! That's We're not right terrifying at all. Goodness gracious me. Well, there you guys go. That is your childhood banners, I guess, or childhood banner. Um. That is a lot to take in, but also note that over there on the upper left side we have Minerva, who's going to be, according to this, our uh, Tempest Trial character. 
the freebie. And it looks like, at least from what I can tell, she has her own weapon that is not in the game yet. So, yay! This banner looks absolutely outrageous. I mean, they're cute, but they're gonna destroy everyone. I think the weakest would probably be Marth, and even then, that's just... That's really not that weak, honestly. I'm really hoping Minerva's that great, but my god. Holy crap, guys. There you go. Oh, and also, Legendary Marth will be available as the 4-star focus, which is actually pretty nice, considering, well, he's a pretty competent unit from what we can tell. Also, I am just losing my mind over a lot of this, but really, I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm incredibly tired, so I'm going to go lay down now. But first, before I do that, I just want to say, for those who are wondering where the, you know, other content is, uh, with everything that has been going on, you know, from the coronavirus to just dealing with a lot of this, my family has been the bigger focus for me right now, and I'm trying to focus on them a little bit more. But hopefully this week you'll actually start to see some more content that isn't just trailer reactions and stuff like that. I really am sorry for all of that, but hey, I'm working on it. And, you know, I, I hope you guys can understand, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like if you're new to this and want to see more, you know, subscribe as well. We're going to get to that 100k again, I'm sure, but all right. Catch you nerds later. Thanks for watching.